Hey, I'm Jocelyn and this is Sandra and it is Friday and we are having cocktails Mad Men style. Tonight uh, we're going to do the uh, a dry, yeah, we're going to do a very dry gin martini and um, I feel like I should put on one of my 1950s dresses for this. No? Yes? Mm -hmm. No, we don't have time, but I'd like to. <laughs> We'll dress it so we start with a chilled glass, right? Just ice and water, pretty easy. Right, and you can skip this step by putting your glass into the freezer in yes. advance and letting it get nice and frosty. Um, I never have room in my freezer for that, so I have to do this, but that's okay. Yeah. Out it goes. Um, so you when you make shake. when you make a dry martini, it means very little vermouth. Um, here's a funny thing about martinis: back historically. They were mostly vermouth, and it was like the opposite of what they are now. It was mostly vermouth and a touch of either gin or vodka, depending on what you were making it with. That sounds Isn't terrible. <laughs> well then, and um, thus, but I like they are history. now the way they are. So there. <laughs> Evolution is a good thing. Uh, we're using a really good, high-quality gin here. The drink is gin, so you want something you like, um, and you want a good quality gin. So um, yeah, don't mess around. We're gonna, this is not a place to skip on your gin. No. Uh, we're gonna put two. Yeah, if you're gonna be a martini drinks. drinker, you are going to start learning a lot about your gins and vodkas. Whether you're, you're a vodka person or a gin person, you're gonna want good stuff. And then we're gonna just take this vermouth, I'm gonna put a splash in, I'm not even gonna measure This is like my swirl. favorite thing. Swirl. Swirl the coat the glass. And get rid of it. Toss it. So dry, so dry, they were not even gonna it's let It's just that. little legs running down. So pretty. I love the way the glass looks. We've got our gin and ice. All right. So my hand hurts from the cold from shaking this. That means it's done. Now some people tell you that too much shaking bruises the gin. Uh, some people tell you that it um, puts too much water into it. I actually think that that water content from the it dissolved ice, it really does give it a little more softness. I think you're gonna like the drink better that way. It's so pretty too. It's the so little pretty. ice bits are like all coming together and the, it's, it's lovely. Yeah, you probably it? can't see the, the pretty ice crystals. So then I'm gonna put, I like mine dirty. So dirty means you add olive juice olive. to it. This is yeah. to your taste. You don't have to put it in there at all. And then so it'll be a clean martini. I am a dirty, dirty oh, martini girl. She's um, a dirty girl. I'm a, no, I'm a dirty, dirty martini girl. So I like at least three or four teaspoons full. Right. Um, Cause I love olives. They're so good. My mouth's kind of watering thinking about olives anyway. Well, you're about to have some. And then I'm gonna yeah. add my pre-picked olives and I'm gonna just drop that right in. Give yummy, it a swirl. Yummy, yummy. Thank you. See what you think. You know I'm gonna like this. Mm-hmm. It's good. And I'm telling you, the um, the gin makes all the difference. Um, a good a good high quality gin is absolutely necessary for this. Um, otherwise, it's going to burn all the way down your throat into your gullet, and you're going to go, "Oh my god!" And it might burn coming back up. <laughs> but a good gin, mm, smooth, you'll like it. Makes a really good martini. So. Um, Enjoy martinis this weekend, and we will see you next Friday for another cocktail. Cheers. Bye.